Our next poet is John Brooks. Come on, John. <laughs> To set the scene, friends come back after the pub, pub shot, friends come back. Um, some fall asleep, some go in the course of the night, some go in the course of the night, and dawn comes. Night and day. My boozy friends have blown or lie where sleep has taken them and snore like heavy and unfastened doors. And now, as sure as night and day take turn and turn about, the dawn will want to know the reason why. I hear my neighbour getting up, first trains approaching down the line with breakfast shafts and cleaners on, and now the dull diversions of the day in canteen kitchens and shop floors seem all that there has ever been. Day hides night, and night hides day, each completely till the other come, and as my fellow shipwrecks groan, raise their boots and snore again, dawn puts its sempiternal question, bold and watery and common. Reg and Ron and Roy and Ray, marooned among the cans and ashtrays, as things outside get underway, why had we not the wisdom to foresee that having battled dark and won, the sun would rise and we'd be done. This next one is my usual moan about good growing old. Clifton Street, Cardiff. I sit in a cafe on Clifton Street and stir my tea and look about. Another man of 48 in Oxfam shirt and overcoat. That's written a few years ago. <laughs> in Oxfam shirt and overcoat. Outside through the usual rain, the usual traffic bumper to bumper. Inside a steaming silver urn wrinkles the face of Miss November. The rain falls, the urn steams. Oh, what have I done with beautiful time? For calendars pass as though a thumb were riffled down the edge of them. And soon, soon the nursing home, the toast rack and the sugar tongs. Soon, soon the walking frame, the Lennon and McCartney sing songs. Along the street, two dumper trucks are inching up to where a gang of demolition men are making bricks with a steel ball on a chain. The street renews, decays, renews, and will do till there is no call for pegs or birthday cards or shoes, no call for plugs or stamps at all. And when one day they come across me face down in my morning porridge, and matron with a look at nurse wheels me quietly to the fridge, there'll be a man on Clifton Street who stirs his tea and looks about, who sighs and lights a cigarette, and smokes a while and stubs it out, then seeing that the sky has put a hanky to its streaming face, with shoulders back, steps boldly out, for fuses, glue, or pudding rice. Jokobo. He's got a voice like Richard Burton, hasn't he? To me, he does, anyway. <laughs> 